Hunter Biden launching his book tour in an interview asked about a laptop that allegedly exposed the Biden family's efforts to exploit political connections. It was a case of I can neither confirm nor deny. Chief Breaking News correspondent Trace Gallagher is on the case looking back at the facts as we know them so far. Good evening, Trace. And a good evening. Now that we have the major players on the record, here's a timeline on who said what. In the early fall, it was the New York Post that broke the story of the incriminating documents and emails found on what was said to be Hunter Biden's laptop. The story was then blocked on Facebook and Twitter because it, quote, violated Twitter's hacked materials policy. Of course, Twitter never provided any evidence the emails were hacked or was Russian disinformation. But in October, then-candidate Joe Biden told 60 Minutes it was both Russian disinformation and a smear campaign. Yet the same month, then-Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe knocked down Joe Biden's statement saying the laptop is not part of a Russian disinformation campaign, and the FBI and the Department of Justice agreed. But the media largely ignored the story, and so in late December, President-elect Joe Biden had this back and forth with Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey. Watch. Mr. President-elect, do you still think that the story from the fall about your son Hunter were rushing into the nation as a fear campaign, like you said. Yes, yes, yes. God love you, man. You, you're a one-horse pony. Joe Biden's yes, yes, yes answer indicates extreme confidence. Yet now we know that Hunter Biden doesn't share that confidence. Watch. Was that your laptop? For real, I don't know. I know, but, but you know that's is, this is. I really don't know what okay. the answer is. That's you don't know, yes or no, if the laptop was yours. I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that it was the that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. Or it could be, as the man who turned over the computer said, that someone who looks very much like Hunter Biden dropped off the laptop to be fixed and never picked it up. Finally, NPR had reported the Biden laptop story was discredited by intelligence. Now, the taxpayer-funded network has issued a correction saying they were wrong. Shannon. Joyce Gallagher, out west, thank you.